Hey y'all, so this is my most favorite project I've done so far, like ever. And if you guys saw m m my recent yard sale haul, you'd see that this was a test tube children's science kit. And it was plastic and it looked like ugh, and now it looks beautiful. And I am so happy with how the outcome of this came out. I'm really proud of myself. I absolutely love it. I had so much fun with this. My creativity went wild and I just absolutely love it. So obviously I used the Graphic 45 Steampunk Spells collection, which is my most favorite collection um, from Graphic 45. And so obviously I wanted this to be like a witch's or mad science uh, laboratory. Um, for potions and charms and all that fun stuff and on the sides because this is the plastic and I painted everything there's so many layers of paint and gesso and what I did was to make sure this would stay strong and not because it would be a little bit wiggly I put chipport sorry I can't even speak I put if you can see really carefully I'm gonna zoom in um, here's the plastic and there's two layers of chipboard on both sides that I put together here, here, and here. So it would make it a lot more sturdier. And I covered them with paper as well. And um, I used a ton of Lindy Stamp Gang sprays on this. Absolutely love it. Uh, lots of alcohol inks, lots of mist, lots of fun stuff. So on the sides where, um, let me zoom back out, um, where the, there's, there's like a little ledge. You can't even see it. Hold on. Sorry guys. There's a little ledge you can see here that sticks out and I thought how awesome to do, you know, a bookcase. So I have these little books here that I glimmer misted and I just put them here as the bookcase and here's like, uh, here's the woman, the lady from the paper collection and I thought oh well there's like the portrait on the mantle of the witch. Um, who's doing all these potions and I fussy cut a lot of pieces out so here's one of the flowers and you can see I use the flower paper on the outside and on the inside to cover the chipboard I use that orange and black imaged um, paper and then on this side you can see again the books I have a pocket watch I cut out and then I cut this out and I glimmer misted that like a blood spotter kind of effect and it's one of the you know the potions I thought that went really well and um, here we go so over here I have the um, creepy cloth and I have um, multiple gears if you can see here and here and here multiple different gears there's a gear on the inside here just different gears and I have the flowers that I fussy cut out layered as well um, kind of as if it was a vine a creepy vine which is what I was going for. And then this is a saw, I used a lot of saw crafters pieces on this too. This is from saw crafters and it's the hand and I glimmer misted it and I distressed it and I put that there. And I have a bunch of little spiders on here as well. So I'm gonna just pick this up. You can barely see it, but there is a little spider right there. And there's another one right up here. And you'll see more. And then this is the little frog, and I distressed him up as well and glimmer misted him and put him there. And then here, this is from, I believe, from Saw Crafters. It's a picket fence. And I glimmer misted and distressed it as well. And I layered on top of that um, one of the ornate plates from Tim Holtz. And I put this piece from the paper collection in it that says Potions and Cur Curiously Creepy Charms, because obviously that's what it is. And I fussy cut out the corset with the wings and I put that there and I fussy cut out a bunch of hot air balloons and I put them there as if they were cascading up. And I layered, I ripped up and I layered um, and decoupaged the paper onto these and I glare misted them as well. And I also have paper on the bottom there, you can see the gear paper. Um, and then I'm going to show you the test tubes individually. Um, so the first one is obviously a witch's test tube and I did it in green and I have some green glitter in there and I have a witch's broom and I have a uh, graphic 45 keyhole and a saw crafters witch's hat that I glimmer misted and a gear and then up top I have um, I made this filigree flower out of different uh, flowers and then I have a light bulb a real light bulb that I just um, Glimmer missed it up, and I'm so sorry. Someone keeps my boyfriend keeps blowing up my phone, and I told him I'm recording. 
okay, it's like ridiculous. I'm really, really sorry. Um, sorry guys. Um, and then the second one, um, which I'm not exactly really sure, I kind of went like steampunk doll kind of thing. Um, but I did put this chipboard piece that says Witch's Brew, Authentic Witch's Brew, uh, Brew. I can't talk. Um, from the paper collection, I distressed that. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz crossbow, crossbone. Oh my god. I'm gonna, like, kill him. <laughs> And I have these little witch's boots, and then this one was missing the cap, which was okay with me. I put this bling trim around the top and layered some more metal pieces, and this is from Saw Crafters. And he's not listening to me. I'm really sorry, guys. Hold on. And um, glue messed it uh, and distressed it, and you can see in here, I alcohol inked the Tim Holtz the new Tim Holtz dolls, the Fracture dolls, and I layered three of them on top of one another and I put these really pretty, really cool vines on here, which is really awesome. So there's that one. I really apologize for him. Um, so this one is a spider one. Again, I apologize for him. Anyways, um, this one I did in blue, so I have the spider webbing with spiders on the inside. And then I have um, a die cut from the paper collection I put there. This is a Saw Crafters um, spider that I, um, again, sprayed and layered there. I have a gear. And then this is a Prima metal piece there. And then I have a doily that I glimmer misted with a gear. And then this is a charm piece. Um, might be an art like cake, I don't know. But... I put that there. And then this one I did in orange, so this is like poisonous mushrooms. Um, so you can see like the mushrooms cascading up with like the moss and they're all distressed in there and on the top here I just uh, punched out some paper and I have a gear and a really pretty bling. Isn't that cool? And then this one I have a metal filigree piece and then this um, like moth kind of charm on there kind of to indicate like nature so that's what I did there and the last one which is one of my favorites um, is Mr. Seymour Bones which is from the paper collection um, if you guys know Snape Punk spells this is um, the name of the skeleton in there and I have it red kind of like bloodish kind of but I have a skeleton all chopped up and he sprayed kind of bloody, you can kind of see. And I have these really cool vines in there as well. And the top here, I took these leaves and I twisted them and I layered them all the way around the top here. And I really love how that came out. And I put some creepy cloth and I sprayed up the skeleton as well. And then I put another little spider on him. And that's my test tubes. And I'm really, really happy with how this came out. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, concerns, comments. I love listening to what you guys have to say. It really means a lot to me. So this is one of my favorite projects. Let me know if it's yours. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.